For the first time since 2013, Vermont welcomes a new adjutant general. Army Colonel Greg Knight took command of the state's National Guard unit during a ceremony this afternoon at Camp Johnson. And now Local 22 Spencer Comlin joins us live in the newsroom. And Spencer, Colonel Knight's tenure as adjutant general begins during a time of increased scrutiny for the Guard. It sure does, Mike and Lauren. The change in command comes in the wake of reports by VT Digger suggesting sexual harassment and other misconduct within the Guard. For the first time since 2013, Vermont's colors were presented to a new National Guard leader, Army Colonel Gregory Knight. Signifies the passing of his trust and also the responsibility for the Vermont National Guard. The Huntington resident and 35-year veteran it takes over for Air Force Major General Stephen Cray, who announced he'd be retiring earlier this year. Major General Cray has led us through many challenging moments, and I'm honored to follow in his footsteps. He's been a dedicated and thoughtful servant and has helped this organization achieve what we all know it's capable of in earning some very important results. Cray is credited with securing the controversial basing of the new F-35 fighter jets later this year. Opponents say the jets are too loud and dangerous for Vermont, while supporters say basing F-35s is vital in maintaining the Guard's existence. During his farewell remarks Friday, Cray encouraged Vermonters to join and reminded current members to be conscious of why they're serving. Even with all the good times and the bad times that you go through in your career, remember one thing, be proud of why you joined. I will hold my head high as I leave uh, the gates of, of Camp Johnson tonight. Colonel Knight inherits recruitment and retention issues. Also, allegations of sexual harassment alcohol abuse and retaliation against whistleblowers after an explosive investigation by VT Digger, which Cray refuted, saying the report was exaggerated. During the election process under the Golden Dome, Knight promised to change the Guard's culture. Together we'll ensure that my daughter and yours should they choose to join, we'll have the same opportunities as any of our sons. As adjutant general, Knight is charged with leading the Guard during state emergencies and to ensure the unit is prepared at all times for active duty. All current policies and procedures remain in effect until otherwise noted. Let's get to work. I'll roll up my sleeves. I'll be there with you. Put the Vermonters ahead. Now, uh, former Adjutant General Stephen Cray says he is moving to the south and is going to return to his old job, which is being a pilot for a commercial airliner, American Airlines. Live in the newsroom tonight, Spencer Conlon. Back to you.